Well, I think it's really important for coaches and the athletes themselves to realize that there are different types of leaders on a team and that a lot of times when we try to force a leader just because they're a star player into a specific role or a specific type of leadership, it doesn't always fit. And the best leaders maximize on, you know, their strengths. And, you know, on the Eagles, we had different types of leaders. We had emotional leaders and vocal leaders like Brian Dawkins and Jeremiah Trotter, who were the guys that got everybody ready to go and, you know, amped up for the game. And then we had, you know, other leaders like Troy Vinson, who were more kind of teacher mentor leaders who, you know, took young players aside and showed them, hey, this is the way that you need to do things if you want to improve your game. You know, we had uh, other types of leaders on the team like Donovan McNabb, who, you know, kind of injected humor into the game and made sure that everybody was having fun and that it was an enjoyable experience. And we had people, you know, and it doesn't always have to be the star player. You, you know, there's, we had, you know, there's, there can be spiritual leaders. You know, Chad Lewis was a tight end of ours. You know, he was a very spiritual guy who, you know, helped out on, on that side of the game. And it's really important for, for great teams to have all types of leaders. So when coaches are looking for leaders, look for those type of, of, of things in their players and, and, and encourage them to, to to, to talk to players on the team about them and strengthen the team in those things that they're really good at.